Good morning. Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yahuwah and the truth. I love you all. And um, we are continuing on with the lessons from the return of Yahusha. The beginning is near. Um, so here we go. I'm going to try to make the video a little shorter because I've noticed uh, that um, most of the time people usually watch like five minutes of it. So I'm going to try to shorten it a bit. Sometimes it's a little difficult because some of the sections are a bit long, like this one's a full full page and a half. So I'm going to try to cut it down so it's not a full hour this time. Um, yeah, I might be able to do that, so let's try. Um, all right, hold one second. It's got okay. a door, too, to put there. I have mm. found my spot. Um, okay, we are on Redemptive Shadow or out, redemptive outline. Perhaps one of the biggest secrets Yahuwah has kept until these last days is the meaning of the shadows of things to come. For his body, which is his wife, the seven festivals during the year which Christianity shunned, replaced, replacing them with seven sacraments, are Pesach, first fruits, um, Matzah, Shavuot, Yom Teruah, Yom Kippur, and Sukkot. These are the shadows or essences of Yahusha's redemption plan for his bride, Yasharal. Pesach is a shadow of his death and burial. First fruits is his resurrection. Matzah, our purging of men's traditions. Shavuot, the giving of Torah. Yom Teruah, day of the shout, the resurrection of those who have died in Yahusha. Yom Kippur. The changing in the twinkling of an eye of those yet alive at his coming. Sukkot, the wedding feast. <clears throat> so the secret of Elohim ends. Ushering in the period of time in which the two witnesses torture those dwelling on the earth with the message. And then the seventh mes messenger sounds. Then the wrath of Yahuwah falls on those not sealed. Revelation 11, 15 through 19. This will not be what is called Judgment Day, but the trap closes and time runs out for those who will not repent. It will be too late to go find more oil for your lamp. You are either caught or you've repented. And he said, Go, Daniel, for the words are hidden and sealed till the time of the end. Many shall be cleansed and made white and refined. But the wrong shall do wrong, and none of the wrong shall understand, but those who have insight shall understand. Daniel 12, 9, and 10. Both Yekezkal, or Ezekiel, and Yehukanan were told to eat a little scroll. Ezekiel 3, 1, and Revelation 10, 9. And these are possibly the, li the literal men chosen to prophesy to the world as the two witnesses. Yeah. When you see that the chosen were warned to not be deceived and to look up for their redemption after the, the distress or the great tribulation, the order of things coming are clear. We will be taken after the last trump, raising of the dead from among the weeds. We'll study more on this later in the book. The tribulation or distress. From the song of Musha or Moses, Devarim 32, 39 through 43. I put to death and I make alive. I have wounded and I heal, and from my hand no one delivers. For I lift up my hand to the heavens, and I shall say, As I live forever, if I have sharpened my, my flashing sword and my hand takes hold of judgment, I shall return vengeance to my enemies. And repay those who hate me, and make my arrows drunk with blood, and my sword devours flesh, with the blood of the slain and the captives. For the long-haired enemy chiefs, O nations, acclaim his people, for he avenges the blood of his servants, and returns vengeance to his adversaries, and shall pardon his land, his people. There is a high probability that the, that the stress on earth, tribulation, began when the temp temple was destroyed in 70 CE by the Roman general Titus. Like a woman in labor, it will increase in intensity until the time of the end, when the stress will become so great that the survival of all flesh will be in question. Great Tribulation. Read Matthew 24, Yahshua 24, 
you all are Joel 2 and Acts 2. From Shamoth 23.22 But if you diligently obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I shall be an enemy to your enemies and a distresser to those who distress you. These are just a sampling of many promises showing that whoever causes trouble for Yasharal shall be dealt with most severely by Yahuwah. Roscoe Down. Yasharal is his wife. Whoever would make themselves an enemy of his wife has no idea of the wrath they will suffer. We may live to witness many horrific things ahead. As sad as it is for us to see the death and suffering of innocent women and children in Islamic lands, we have to remember these women produce the offspring who will grow up and be trained to hate and kill the children of Yasharal. See, I'm not a radical Islamist. The Islamists are trained to to kill the Yahudim. The Nazarene. The 20th century was the bloodiest in all of recorded history. Hands down. The 21st century will be magnitudes worse because the rebellion of mankind must be judged. And it will be those seeking peace who will destroy in the name of peace. The old phrase Pax Romana in English means the peace of Rome. Truly, when the Roman army came to town, those who died kept very quiet and peaceful, with Irish Catholic terrorists blowing up restaurants filled with people, and Islamic terrorists targeting any and every gathering of Yahudim or U.S. citizens. We can now understand the urgency of governments to look for a solution to the problem. The secular minds running governments perceive the root of the problem to be religion, but they deny this openly because the way of peace they do not know. Reference Isaiah 59 8. The paths or way of peace is the Torah, and to turn away from Torah causes violent consequences for all concerned. They cry, peace, peace, yet there is no peace. Yirmiyahu, Jeremiah 6.14 The tribulation period will be a time to watch for when everyone is seeking peace, yet there is a hidden threat lurking everywhere. It seems we have arrived at this time. From the Middle East to the Pacific Ocean, Islamic fundamentalists grows more militant every day. Like the Irish Catholic terrorists, the Islamic terrorists use cowardly tactics to threaten and terrorize anyone who is not of their religion for political or territorial gain. Their victims are innocent men, women, and children. The Catholics justify killing infidels with their Jesuit oath, not the word of Yahuwah. The Islamic terrorists use distorted interpretations of their Quran to justify their violence against the innocent. See book Who is Allah by this by by the by Lou White. I have that one too. I can read that one as well. Get down, Roscoe. They have awakened a sleeping giant, a global military industrial complex, which will bring to bear the full force of its weaponry and cunning strategies against these cowards and those sympathetic to their cause. The wrath is already unleashed, the enemy is known, and the destruction and distress among nations will be unlike any since there was a nation. Bosco, Nicole is standing up. He won't stop. Rosco, what? Rosco, you gotta stop. You gotta leave him alone, okay? Come See on. Daniel 12, 1. Yeah, also, okay. keep your bookmark at Matthew 24. Wars between nations, famine, deadly diseases, and the tossing of the sea, and earthquakes in diverse places, or diverse places, um, are daily news. Next, for those practicing truth, Torah, they ought, are to be persecuted, hated, and killed for being associated with the name Yahuwah. The increase of lawlessness will result from the false prophets' teachings leading the masses astray. Love will grow cold in many, but those who endure the stresses and overcome the deception by holding fast to Torah will be saved through it all.
the visora or message of the reign of Yahuwah will be proclaimed in all the world as a witness, probably by the two witnesses, to all the nations, and then the end shall come. Matthew 24, 14. Rabbi Yehusha reminds us to watch for a particular thing referred to by Daniel, the abomination that lays waste. An abomination is anything shameful, abhorrent, or abhorred, detestable, hated, or vile. Over the centuries, vile pagan observances became accepted, replace, replacing the commanded festivals of Yahuwah, thus laying waste to them. Such teachings are an abomination, and scripture warns us not to do them. Deuteronomy 12, 28-32. Also read Deuteronomy chapter 28. Another thing that could lay waste is the detonation of a thermonuclear device, perhaps set off in the land of Yasharal. The government of Israel has, has what is called the Samson option. A last-ditch con contingency plan, if what is called the Samson, Sam, or wait, if they see themselves going down. It's like uh, the panic button that they hit for a nuclear strike, I think. I can understand how several other things can apply, such as images of pagan deities being brought into Jerusalem, even placed in a rebuilt third temple. It could also be a human being, one who, who is a destroyer in the name of peace, the anti-Mashiach himself. Yahusha warns those in Yehuda to not not waste a second fleeing to the mountains. They are not to turn back for anything. Nursing women and those pregnant will be highly distressed. <clears throat> Notice Yahusha's words to his followers concerning the last days. And pray that your flight does not take place in winter or on the Sabbath. Matthew 24, 20. Sabbath. Seminary trained scholars have slick ways to deal with that line. They've told they've told me to just pick a day. To, they've told Lou to just pick a day to rest. Any one out of the any one day out of the seven. When you pick the right one, they tell you about the Judaizers, who were burned at the stake for resting on the Shabbat. That's horrible. The Council of Laodicea in 365 CE decreed: Christians must not Judaize by resting on the Sabbath but must work on that day, rather honoring the LORD's day, and if they can, re they can resting then as Christians. But if any shall be found to be Judaizers, let them be anathema from CHRST. Um, pause and wonder. Blind yourselves and be blind. There are drunk, they are drunk, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. For Yahuwah has poured out on you the spirit of deep sleep, and has closed your eyes, the prophets, and he has covered your heads, the, seer, the seers. And the entire vision is to you like the words of the book that is sealed, which men give to one who knows books, saying, Read this, please. And he said, I am unable, for it is sealed. Yashiyahu or Isaiah 29, 9-11. The verses continue explaining that the commandments of men, humanism, are taught superseding the commandments of Yahuwah. Um, since I was going to do a shortened, less shortened lesson today and see what you guys think, I'm going to stop right there. Um, the next lesson is going to be on the rapture, witness number one. Witness number two, and um, the timeline from creation to the state of Israel. Um, and I think that's all I'll have time for if I continue to do shortened videos. If you guys like the shortened videos better, please let me know in the comments. If not, I will continue to do long outstretched videos so you guys can get um, as much information as possible all in one video. Um, this book is pretty long. We do have a ways to go. I just started it, but um, you guys just let me know your opinion on whether I should do short videos or long videos um, to get through this book with you guys. Colorful. This information is very important. It pertains to the last days. It pertains to um, 
us as a family of Nazarene Yahudim followers, the true followers of Yahusha. I love you all, my brothers and sisters. Shalom and blessings. Yes. So now we